Mic checker. Chicka, chicka, chicka. It's not some, baby. Uh, yeah, a one time, baby. Uh, what? Uh, for your mind, baby. Uh, yeah, we gon' shine, baby. Uh, and what we do, we gon' grind, baby. Uh, yeah, what? And this is another episode so sold of Swingers After Dark. And this is your host. Not some, baby. Here we go, uh, what's good family, what's goody, and I want to talk about the main objective when it comes to the swinger lifestyle, what's the main goal, what is the end result of participating in the swinger lifestyle, or even hitting up parties and events, and you know, we're in this new age of swinging we in this new age of the swinger lifestyle where people are treating parties and events like a meet and greet some place where you could just chill and talk and converse and little to no sex is involved you know what i'm saying the lifestyle has evolved and you have more lifestyle friendly people and more vanilla people who come to these parties than the hardcore swingers and lifestylers. Now, a a lifestyle friendly person is somebody who hits up functions but don't really play. They're voyeurs for the most part. Then you have people who are vanilla. Vanilla are civilians, for the lack of a better word. They're people who are not lifestylers. They're not swingers. You know what I'm saying? They're not in the lifestyle like that. So, you know, while the main objective of swinger lifestyle parties is to get it in, people are conversing more than they're fucking. Like, when you go to a party, you see people treating the set like a a social affair. Yeah, you may have people dressed down in their attire, but you have chicks who treat these parties like a fashion show and you have dudes it's like they trying to get it in but the women they're not there for that (laughs) they're just there to show off the shit that they bought that week you know what I'm saying and it it kind of you know I'm a type of person I'm not saying that it's mandatory for you to play it's not required for you to get it in at a lifestyle party but damn when you go to a party or if you have plans to go to a lifestyle party at least have the intentions to get it in at least have the intentions to get that nut at least have the intentions to spread ego and bust it wide open so you get get that orgasm you know what i'm saying so you could go home bow leg at the end of the night and you have to soak in some Epsom salt because a dude had put it on your ass the way you want it to. Ladies, I'm talking to you. Yes, you. Because some of y'all be on that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go to these parties. Y'all want to drink, smoke, socialize, look good in your little Victoria's Secret outfit. But I want to know your secret. Reveal to me your secrets. And your secrets will be the secrets in my diary. When you let me hit them draws, draws, draws. So ladies, you know, a lot of people say, well, the swinger lifestyle party, you know, it's not all about sex. It's all about meeting people. But check this out though. If you take away the sexual aspect of a, a swinger lifestyle party, if, if you take away the sex, then you have a vanilla event. If you take away the sexual aspect of sex, it's just a regular party. The, the, the physical, the intimacy distinguishes the swinger lifestyle and the regular shit that you do at your house or somewhere else. If you want to meet and greet, if you want to socialize, you could go to a club for that. You don't have to go to a swinger lifestyle party to do all that. You taking up space. You're in the fucking way. And that's why the game is fucked up. Because you have more people who just want to play the wall. They just want to look at each other funny. 
and it's awkward. They don't know how to converse with each other. All they want to do is get in these groups, show their ass, titties, dicks, and balls, and when they go to a party, they get cold feet. They don't know how to converse. And we're in the era of the swinger lifestyle because they don't realize that the main objective is to have sex. Now, ladies, let me get back to you. You're not off the hook on this one. Now, you may say that the swinger lifestyle is not all about sex. And yes, to an, to a degree, I agree with you. To a degree. But let me ask you these questions. When a dude hits you up, right? In an inbox or in a DM. 9.9999 out of 10 times, you're going to ignore that message. If I'm lying, I'm flying. And last time I checked, I don't have wings growing from my back. If a dude... If a dude messes you in a civilized manner, in a grown man manner, if a dude inbox you and messes you or whatever the case, you're going to ignore him. You're going to curve him. If I'm lying, I'm flying. And the last time I checked, I'm not growing wings on my back. You're going to ignore the friend request. You're going to ignore the inbox. But you're saying that the swinger lifestyle is about meeting people. Now, son, that's not fair. How can you say that? Why should I accept friend requests from people who I don't know? Why should I, should I converse with dudes when I don't know them? <laughs> Those are legitimate questions. But check this out, though. There's nothing wrong with returning the inbox and saying, Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Where do I know you from? How do I know each other? Or how do we know each other, rather? And before I accept your friend request, I want to get to know you first. See, there's nothing wrong with that because you just don't want to add anybody to your page. You just don't want to bring anybody to your world, to your comfort zone, to your sanctuary. You dig? So I understand that, but... And women do this too. It's like y'all accept dudes based on the level of attraction. Y'all click delete or block them based on his looks or based on his swag, his sex appeal. You did it? So if the swinger lifestyle was really about conversation, about being social, then you wouldn't be so quick to curve dudes in the inbox you won't be so quick to curve friend requests to the point where you want to you want to send screenshots post screenshots of the million and one friend requests that you get now there are some creeps out there let's not get that fucked up there are some dudes who are a sandwich who who are missing a few sandwiches at the picnic they're missing a few marbles. They're loose cannons. They got their screws missing. And I understand that. I really do. You have dudes who on that goofy shit that the first thing they want to do is they want to send a dick pic. They don't know how to say hi, hello, howdy, good morning, afternoon, evening, all that good shit. The first thing they want to do is send a dick pic. And I'm against that. That's corny. That's lame. So I understand why you're hesitant because dudes fucked up the game when they want to show their private parts because they don't have enough swag, charisma, pizzazz, charm, and conversational skills to wet your mind in order to wet your draws. Or if you're not wearing draws, for you to leak. So I understand that. I understand that you don't want to give your time and energy to a fuckboy. I understand that. But if a man comes at you in a civilized way, like he got common sense, like he had home training, then there's nothing wrong with conversing with him. You did? But back to the lecture at hand. When you go to these swinger lifestyle parties, at least have it in your mind that you want to get that nut, nut, nut. You did? Ladies, I'm talking to you because the men, we ready to bust them cheeks. <laughs> you dig? But I'm talking to the ladies because a lot of women, they come to parties and they just want to treat it like a fashion show. They want to treat it like a meet and greet. 
And couples, they come, I mean, you have people who want to come to parties to voyeur, and there's nothing wrong with that. But damn, when 98% of the party are voyeurs and they're talking and socializing and nobody's fucking until it's damn near time to go, then that's a problem. Then you have motherfuckers who want to exchange information and order takeout instead of fucking at the party. What's the point of that? What's the point of hooking up after the party when you could just fuck at the party? It defeats the purpose. You could have saved time, energy, and money and just hook up online. You know what I'm saying? And it's all on the promoters. It's all about the clientele of the group owners, the promoters. You dig? So people, when you go to these swinger lifestyle parties, you gotta realize what type of group is throwing the parties. You have groups who are more lifestyle friendly than others. You have groups who are, who are hardcore swingers. You have groups who are hardcore lifestylers. To the point where as soon as as soon as they walk in the door, they fucking. As soon as they walk in the damn door, they dressing down. So you have to get in where you fit in, man. You have to figure out what groups fits you. So you won't be disappointed. Because every group in the lifestyle are not created equal. And the main object is to have sex. It's not required. It's not mandatory. But the main objective is to bust that nut. You did? And this has been another episode of Swingers After Dark. And this is your host, Nasun, baby. Check out my website, www.nasunblaze.com. That's www.nahsunblaze, baby. Dot com. And we're going to go out like this. So here we go. What? So here we go. Chicka chicka. Uh. So here we go. What? Uh. Yeah. And I'm out.